morning guys so anywho we um, are not recording can you hear me now can you hear me now yep you can hear me all right cool I think anyway look this is uh ooh, he almost did something with that. <laughs> this is a blue Yeti, so with a pop filter on it. So it's got a light and all on it that lights up to lets me know that uh, you know, if it's if it's recording or not. And then I also have some bars on the screen. So anyway. Hello, good morning. Cheers. <laughs> so anyway, um, took me till yesterday. Well, yesterday, quite a while, making phone calls, whatnot. Trying to get into the insurance company, um, which is, I don't know, just... I'm not a fan of insurance companies or annuities. I just, I'm just not. Um, you know, after Hurricane Ida, which was August the 29th, and let's see, my appointment is now set for October the 4th. Yeah. Yeah, there's something about... I got to look into that today, actually, like when I'm done with this, I got to look into, was it Pittsburgh? I think it's the second and the third. I got to buy my flight. I, I got to buy the uh, hotel. Um, I looked at it briefly on Cheapo Air. It, it's, it, that ain't happening. Um, Got a layover in Washington and then a, a, another layover in Atlanta. It's like, look, did, no, no, you got a straight shot. <laughs> I, I don't have good luck when it comes to layovers. Um, and, and then, you know, the airport and all, they, at, at every airport, okay, under Americans with Disabilities Act, it's, it's not like, even though I travel alone, the air, airport does do so much above and beyond what you know it, it, I, i'm just surprised every time thanks i think the workers are here outside the front door anyway um no they um you know i well, on the way home, I had to take a wheelchair because of the ankle. So I sprained my ankle on the dance floor. <laughs> I had a blast. But, um, no, they, uh, they'll, they'll bring me to whatever gate I need to be at um, and help me get my luggage, which I do different things to my luggage so that way then I can tell which, which one it is. So, you know, it's easier to pick out of the luggage thing. And when I, whenever I tell whoever's escorting me, you know, it's, you know, they can, they get it every time. It's like perfect. So I do other things like that. Um, but no, these people, they, they bring me around to whatever gate I need to be. I board the flight first. I bypass all the lines at the TSA, all of that. I mean, yeah, look, I still have to go through the scanners and all this and then they rub something on your hand and it's like what the shit was that and it was like oh that's to tell if you've been dealing with explosives and i'm just thinking in my mind i'm like okay if i was dealing with explosives wouldn't i be wearing gloves anyway what are you really doing <laughs> anyway whatever um and, and it sucked having to take my shoes off this run because of uh you know, the foot's all swollen. I'm like, ow, 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 ow. <laughs> But, look, I did it. I got through it. Whatever. But, no, um, 
I got to look into Pittsburgh and into New Jersey. Now, there was something with New Jersey. Pittsburgh, it seems, has one airport, uh, which is cool, PIT. That's cool. But when I got to looking briefly at, um, what was it, New Jersey, what airport is better to fly into and then where is the um, you know I'm looking more for a hotel that is like near the event kind of a thing because I had no idea where I was going in in Texas at the Texas event because I mean each way for a lift was like 40 50 60 bucks and then you know you got four trips in a day you know it's like in one day i exceeded the cost of the of the hotel and the flight to to dallas from where i'm located so it's like yeah i gotta i gotta figure this out a little bit better uh, uh, instead of like the first one that just pops up you know so whatever I still never got to find out what the hell a continental breakfast was, but okay. I think it's like just pastries, you know, which I'm not big on anyway. So type one diabetic, I'd have to take enough insulin to kill a horse. So <laughs> But no, I think that the um Philadelphia or Pittsburgh is why did I say Philly that's Pennsylvania what's coming up in Philly man there's so much stuff going on <laughs> between the insurance wanting to go out on vacation and do stuff you know, I'm also today I got to try to get a hold of the electrician to come over. The hot tub's delivered. Excuse me, my Buick is here. <laughs> Damn thing costs as much as a Buick. So anyway, the Buick's out back. I need an electrician to wire the thing up. I already had the conduit run before I poured the concrete driveways all the way into the backyard and everything. And I ran the conduit all the way up. And anyway, the slam, I have the electrical in line. Now, the, the hot tub is still up in the air, um, sitting on like four inch, four inch schedule 40 pipes, um, just to roll it into place and get it set up and take the panel off. Because the bottom of it, I think you got to drill a hole through the bottom of the thing in order to run the, run the leads up and then through. Same with the uh, water drain. So, yeah. And then I need the electrician to do another outlet inside the house. Um, quite a few things. So, the, uh, and on the shed. Well, wait, let's, let's get this straight. So that way I got it on. I got, so the outlet by the stairs I've got to have an outlet on the inside, so that's just like a a back-to-back -back outlet. And I need one, two, I need one upstairs as well, because there's no place to plug in a, a vacuum in the, in the hallway upstairs. That's just crazy to me. You can't even plug in a light in the in the hallway upstairs. It's like, who, who why? <laughs> no one has ever done that. Okay, so that's two. I need to do the same thing the next door. It's duplex. So that's three. Then I got another one I got to do um, on the shed. Um, the shed I redid in vinyl and everything else and removed the old air conditioner. That was a permanent mount, not a window unit. And removed it, walled it off, siding over it. Anyway, put an outlet but I need to run that through. So that's four. Then I need, I need the hot tub wired. I need um, lighting 
a light switch and like I want to do double gang boxes of uh, outlets underneath the house independent of each side so that way you know if next door for whatever reason flips a light on and they leave it on look that's on your electric bill not mine <laughs> same thing with mine I'm not leaving mine on um, you know I turn it off and turn it on whatever uh, but then I have electricity under the house so that way then I have like a huge workstation I've already got all the old countertops that were in the house here on my side and next door good morning <laughs> good morning I saved all those countertops uh, and the ones from the lady across the street she wanted me to take her whole kitchen apart so I did uh, the lower cabinets the upper cabinets the countertop saved all of that we all ended up doing granite so that was cool um, but I took it a step further I did granite in both the kitchens and I did granite in every windowsill but whatever Good Lord, what the flip are y'all doing? Just kids. Heard a dog out there too, whatever. Anyway, sorry. I'm trying to hear what's going on where they're at. Anyway, um, so yeah, we about to uh, have some fun. Then I got to figure out with FEMA how to send in receipts and everything else, and I don't know what's going on there. Uh, I've got to find out what's going on with FEMA. Um, so, just nuts, y'all. Just nuts. A lot of stuff to do. The ankle's still a little swollen, but I got movement in it. I can move it without it hurting near as bad as just certain ways that I move it. That That's what hurts. I'm still using crutches, so whatever. And uh, anyway, it looks like the... Uh, market tanked a little bit so I checked on my portfolio my portfolio tanked a good bit <laughs> so um, I, I took some uh, took some froth off the top got that sitting on the sidelines maybe buy in a little more I'm not sure I, I just know what I got sitting off on the sidelines is really doing nothing so it's not working and it's not earning any interest or anything so and it's just sitting there and uh, <laughs> if others are trying to tell me do you know what that would do you know if you if you if you had that working and this and that look I know I know I'll get to it I will but I don't know, I got a lot of stuff going on. <laughs> and I got to find receipts, all kinds of stuff. Um, seems that this uh, elevation contract, yeah, it's over, but they, they're they trying to finalize it. And being that I've done so much, I've got so, mi so much extra on top of the elevation that was done. I guess they're not used to anyone doing that much after an elevation of the property and I was just like you know if I'm gonna do it I'm gonna go all the way with it you know so every single little thing outside has been done even the soil and the grass everything the sod dirt and sod extra concrete everything awnings everything everything got touched um anyway yeah <laughs> and uh, I gotta wait till all of this gets done before I get it all pressure washed and and painted with uh, rhino shield that's expensive yeah 
that's pricey so it's a ceramic coating over brick it's it's more than paint it's a ceramic coating actually seals everything because it was either the it was either that or the uh, I was gonna do some sort of stucco so I thought about doing stucco on it but I don't know anyway look how long I've been rambling 15 minutes all right so that's it that's all folks Thank you.